Good night. Good night. <laughs> but this is... I love these babies. We're back now from Las Vegas, from Seattle, from Guatemala City, from Wellington. I was in space in Texas, from Normandy, from, from Surfside, Florida. Thank you for watching, everyone. Shining stars. La Camila. I have been on a singing competition show. Oh my god. Have you been in a girl group too? Uh, Not too late though. <laughs> Prices are going up on groceries, they're going up at the gas station. The only ones profiting are oil companies, big corporations, China, and Ron Johnson. Johnson makes money from investments in factories in China. No wonder Johnson's net worth has doubled since he's been in Washington. Even worse, Johnson's allowed oil and drug companies to jack up prices on us. He takes all that money from them. Ron Johnson profits, we pay the price. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Howard Young Urgent Care. Get in, get out, get well. On crime, Tony Evers broke his promise. Evers released hundreds of violent criminals from prison. Murderers, child rapists, back on our streets. Evers broke his promise. Now we're less safe than ever. Tim Michaels took an oath to protect America, and that's what he'll do as governor. Michaels will put more police on the street, fire weak prosecutors, and keep criminals behind bars. Strength and leadership. Tim Michaels for governor. Straight ahead on Newswatch 12 at 6, Lincoln Hills is facing a staffing issue. We'll tell you how this is affecting the juveniles who are confined there. Plus, the Wisconsin Election Commission is planning to release the results of their investigation. We'll tell you where you can find those records. And RHS held a meeting about their school referendum. We'll have the details as your local news starts right now. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 at 6 starts now. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Jessica Jukic. A staffing crisis at a youth prison is keeping teens confined in cells for long periods of time. Lincoln Hills has filled three of its op 12 open social worker positions. According to a new report filed in a federal court in a class action lawsuit, the facility had 40% vacancy rate for counselors. The shortage is causing teens to miss out on classroom time and stay in prison for longer. Five teaching positions have been vacant and Lincoln Hills has not been able to hire a social worker since 2018. Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake has seen a jump in prison population. State lawmakers agreed to close Lincoln Hills in 2018 and replace it with a smaller facilities throughout Wisconsin. Records from the Wisconsin election probe will soon be made public. All records from the investigation into the 2020 presidential election probe are being uploaded to a website. American Oversight is a liberal watchdog group that has filed four open records lawsuits against former Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman and Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. Today during a lawsuit hearing, American Oversight was seeking to stop a deletion of election probe records. The probe was led by Gableman. His investigation did not uncover any widespread fraud in the 2020 election. Gableman was fired in August by Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. It's a cold day throughout the Northwoods. Meteorologist Conrad Sapinski breaks down how cold temperatures will dip. Conrad? Yeah, it's going to be a chilly one outside tonight, Jessica. Temperatures will be in the 20s. We do have some freeze warnings. Locations in the purple, they will experience some 20s outside. Some blue colors are showing some frost advisories. Their temperatures will be in the 30s. And then in Michigan, we have some frost watches those those will be extended overnight tonight but lots of cooler temperatures all across the midwest and upper midwest we are all under a trough right now that's really bringing in those cold cold temperatures all the way from canada right now we have temperatures in the 40s a couple of 50s showing up just to the south but 42 in Rhinelander, 40 in Eagle River, and those are temperatures right now. We do have a lot of clouds in the area, but later on tonight, we'll continue to have decreasing clouds as temperatures continue to cool off into the upper 20s to low 30s. Jessica? Thank you, Conrad. The Portage County Sheriff's Office is investigating a deadly crash. It happened just <coughs> after 1230 in the
Happy Take and Bake, take and bake, bake Tuesday. Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $10.99, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. At a company, the culture comes from the top. Tim Michaels' company has been sued numerous times over sexual assault and harassment in the workplace. Women who worked for Michaels' company said they were groped, assaulted, and pressured to have sex with their bosses. Higher-ups at Michaels dismissed the women as liars and even fired those who spoke out. Is that what we need for Wisconsin? Tim Michaels, too radical, too divisive. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. When I first moved here to Wausau from Madison, downtown was the very first area that I looked at, and I was shocked at the unavailability of housing opportunities that was there. The mall as it is is no longer viable. That has changed. It's changed across the country, and it's our turn to change what we have here into a new vision. My hope is this is something that the Wausau community comes together to do what they always do, which is unite behind reinvesting in Wausau and making it a great place to live, work, and play. Violent crime up across Wisconsin. Families nervous about their safety. Yet Mandela Barnes called for releasing half of Wisconsin's jailed inmates. That would mean releasing over 10,000 criminals right into our neighborhoods. 10,000 reasons your family would be in more danger. Barnes also supported defunding the police. 10,000 more criminals with fewer police to protect us. What could go wrong? Wisconsin Truth Bank is responsible for the content of this advertising. No one goes all in on made-from-scratch freshness like Papa Murphy's. Because when you go all in, people notice. Go all in with the triple pet pizza for just $11.99. Papa Murphy's. Change the way you pizza. It's Tuesday and welcome back. Bring out those jackets. Today we'll need them. Temperatures right now are in the low 40s and Rhinelander pretty calm winds, but look at those feels like temperatures. Yes, we're talking about feels like temperatures. We do have a little bit of a wind, even a couple of miles per hour with those chilly temperatures makes it feel like we're in the upper 30s. A little bit warmer in Wausau, coming in at 51 degrees right now. Lots of cloud cover, a little bit more of a breezy wind out of the north northwest at 10 miles per hour. And winds are mostly breezy just south of Rhinelander. Same thing just to the east. Eagle River does have a 13 mile per hour sustained wind. Anigo is coming in with a 14 mile per hour wind. So we do have some breezy conditions in the area, but winds will continue to slightly uh, die down overnight tonight. But get those fire pits ready. Start cranking them up. Bring out the heat because Mother Nature is bringing in the cold tonight. It will be very, very chilly. And we know what's coming. That's why some freeze warnings have been issued all across the state. Everybody in the purple is going to have some freeze warnings until 8 a.m. tomorrow. And they will have temperatures in the 20s. Locations in the blue will have a little bit warmer temperatures in those low to mid-30s. That's why they have some frost advisories in the region and then some frost watches in Michigan. So everyone will be in on those cooler temperatures. Right now, really chilly. We have temperatures in the 40s, a couple of 50s down south. 42 in Rhinelander, 40 in Eagle River, same thing in Land O Lakes. Wausau is coming in at a 51 degree reading, so really well below average temperatures situated all across the state today. But hey, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Look what happens on Saturday. Temperatures coming close to 70 degrees and then slightly cooling down, but still sticking around in those 60s even into next week. So don't put away those short sleeve shirts just yet because it is fall, so temperatures will have an up and down type of trend. Right now, mostly cloudy skies across the state. 
Luckily for us, most of that precipitation is long gone. Still a couple of scattered showers offshore and same thing closer to Green Bay. This is all very scattered and light. And we will continue to have really nice weather the next several days. Look at all that weather in the west. Not much going on, just a couple of showers closer to Denver. But overall, we are in the clear. Literally a dry weather pattern will be coming into the forecast for the next week or so. Now let me talk about Hurricane Ian right now. It's a major Category 3 hurricane. Check out that eye. That is a well-developed eye. It's actually starting to redevelop right now. As that eye redevelops, the wind sp speeds will intensify. So if you do live in Florida or have any relations to Florida, really be on alert and be careful the next couple of days. Tonight in Wisconsin, though, temperatures will be on the colder end in the upper 20s under a partly cloudy sky. So get ready, there will be frost and freeze in the area as our seven day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show a warm up on the way and temperatures close to 70 by Saturday. Jessica? The Portage County Sheriff's Office is investigating a deadly crash. It happened just after 1230 today in the town of Stockton. Authorities say two semi-tractor trailers were driving on the eastbound lanes of US Highway 10 when one semi was hit from behind. The first semi-truck driver, a 56-year-old man from Winnebago County, had minor injuries from the crash. <clears throat> Authorities say the driver of the second truck was a 51-year-old man from Richland County who died from his injuries. One semi-truck caught fire and crews put the flames out. The Bayfield County Sheriff's Office is searching for a Clintonville carjacking suspect. Authorities believe the suspect, Seth Jenneru, is no longer hiding out in the woods. There's been no new sightings of him since Friday. <clears throat> Authorities believe because of the recent weather, he was picked up by a passing driver. He's accused of stealing an 81-year-old man's van last Thursday at a gas station in Clintonville. <clears throat> if you recognize him, you're asked to call 911. Jeffrey Dahmer died almost three decades ago, but the horrors he committed continue to haunt those who witnessed it. Kula Stiles, then 17, is one of them. She called 911 after seeing a teenage boy apparently trying to escape Dahmer's apartment. Dahmer later killed that 14-year-old boy. The death has haunted Stiles for years. Now a newly released Netflix series on the serial killer's stirring emotions once again. I was wondering if I could get hypnotized to block that part of my life out. Like, I really did not want to think about it. I just was, like, trying to figure it out, and it came to, you know, maybe you should write. You know, people, good people telling me, like, you know, therapy is writing, too. You can write it. And I do feel like that kind of did something. Styles has gone by a different name since the early 90s to distance herself from the Dahmer case. She says it took almost 20 years to forgive herself for not being able to save that boy. Rhinelander area residents showed up to the Hodag Dome earlier today to listen to a community presentation about the operational referendum for the upcoming November 8th election. It's been four years since Rhinelander's last approved referendum, and in order to avoid significant cut to programs and services, the school district's hoping to pass another one. Superintendent Eric Burke says operational referendums are critical for a brighter future in Rhinelander. And so the state formula for funding in schools uh, puts us in a, in a situation where we need to go, uh, go for Operation Referendum. We're considered property rich here in Rhinelander. Which means that more of the responsibility for funding schools depends on the local ta property taxpayers. Students need to have increased, especially in the areas of special education and mental health. The district has been able to manage its financial challenges in recent years thanks to the support of the community. I think the community has supported the last few referendums and um, they seem very happy with our with our school district according to our la last survey so we want to keep that keep that rolling there will be three more community meetings before november 8th election for more information on the locations of the meetings you can visit the school district of rhinelander website hurricane ian is strengthened to a category three storm and is currently lashing cuba before it makes its way towards florida where evacuations ahead of the monster storm are already underway in some coastal areas. The uncertain path of Ian is only making it more menacing. Ivan Rodriguez is in Tampa, where residents are preparing for the worst. This one not looking too good. No. It's very big, it's very powerful, and it seems to have its eye on Tampa Bay. It's expected to be the first major hurricane to make landfall in the U.S. this year, and Ian isn't pulling any punches. 
The storm has been rapidly strengthening, expected to bring a life-threatening storm surge to Florida's west coast. And for the first time in over 100 years, Tampa could get a direct hit. Mother Nature always wins. This is nothing to mess around with. If you can leave, just leave now and we will take care of your personal uh, property. Hillsborough County, which includes Tampa, issued a mandatory evacuation Monday for all waterfront areas. There's still uncertainty with where that exact landfall will be, uh, but just understand the impacts are going to be far, far broader uh, than just where the eye of the storm happens to make landfall. Several other counties have issued evacuation orders and are urging residents to get ready, warning those who think they might be in a safe area not to get complacent. We're going to see Ian slow to a crawl once it makes landfall in Florida, moving only four or five miles per hour. We could see some areas get 20 to 25 inches of rainfall. So water is going to be a huge story with this storm, uh, not just as it makes landfall, but even after it moves inland. In Tampa, I'm Ivan Rodriguez. The city of Anago has been selected to receive funding through the DNR Safe Drinking Water Loan Program. The project would include the removal and replacement of one of the water towers in Anago, which was built in the 1930s. An environmental review determined the project will have no significant environmental effects. The Safe Drinking Water funding is totaling nearly $3 million. The city is currently in the planning stages of the project and hopes to begin the project in fall of 2023. A concert is hoping to rejuvenate in Oneida County Park. Why this fundraiser is music to residents' ears. We'll break it down after the break. Prices are going up on groceries. They're going up at the gas station. The only ones profiting are oil companies, big corporations, China, and Ron Johnson. Johnson makes money from investments in factories in China. No wonder Johnson's net worth has doubled since he's been in Washington. Even worse, Johnson's allowed oil and drug companies to jack up prices on us. He takes all that money from them. Ron Johnson profits, we pay the price. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. There are so many things we take for granted. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Some numbers are inspiring. Some playful. Some worth celebrating. After an accident, there's one critical number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are, no other personal injury law firm is better suited to get the amount that's right for you. No one could have survived that fall. We're going to get out of here. What is this place? There is a building, and it holds the answers. We're going to go home. Who's ready for my new plan? There's no way this is legal. Let me prove it to you. You need to operate now. You can't take my arm. I'd rather die. If you force a surgery on that man, you will never practice medicine again. New Amsterdam, the final season, tonight on NBC. Ron Johnson's at it again. Lying about my taxes. Let's be clear. My taxes are paid in full. But there were times I was getting by on peanut butter sandwiches. And that's why I support a tax cut for the middle class. Put more money in your pockets. Because I know how hard you work. But Johnson used his Tennessee seat to write a loophole that gave huge tax cuts to himself and his biggest donors. Leaving us with crumbs. And that's how we get left behind. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. News Watch 12 is brought to you by Bone & Joint Walk-In Care. Labor shortages have hit the restaurant industry especially hard coming out of the pandemic, but the solution may already be here, and it's robots. A few weeks ago, an Iowa restaurant started using a robot to help waiters bring food to customers, and so far it's been a hit. The robot's name is Rosie, and she helps waiters take food to the tables, and it's all automated. 
The robot has sensors so it knows where to go if anyone or anything is in the way. It will actually say excuse me and ask them to move. It can even sing happy birthday to customers. With labor shortages hitting the labor industry especially hard, having an extra set of hands, or in this case wheels, is invaluable. However, Rosie is meant, isn't meant to take anyone's job. There's still a lot of value in the face-to-face -face experience. A local nonprofit is expanding. Their new goal is to feed children in need across Vilas and Oneida counties. Feed Our Rural Kids, or FORC, has been helping out food insecure families in the Northland Pines, Phelps, and Three Lakes school districts. FORC created an endowment fund in 2020 to financially support the future of its programming in the Pines, Phelps, and Three Lakes school districts. The group just announced the endowment fund will be given more purpose by financially supporting all food insecure organizations in Oneida and Vilas counties. This includes places like food pantries. Fork President Perry Pocrant said a lot of pantries could better serve the community and those in need if they had more funding. Uh, there are a lot of organizations who work in the same space Fork is. They're, they're not duplicates, but they're doing different things. And all of them need help. Currently, the Fork Endowment is in the middle of a $1 million Phase 1 capital campaign. At this time, donations total just over $400,000. If you'd like to help, you can go to ruralkids.org. Coming up on this Sunday, the Friends of Town, Town Line Lake Park will be holding a concert, which will raise money for a park improvement project. This comes one year after the group led an effort to save the park. Newswatch 12's Kyle Pazorski has the latest. Nestled alongside Oneida County Highway K sits Town Lion Lake, an accompanying park. There's so much wildlife here. It's such a serene lake. In 2017, the Oneida County Forestry, Land, and Recreation Committee voted to sell eight acres of the park. However, an effort was made to reverse the sale by members of the Friends of Town Lion Lake. Now, work is being made to rejuvenate a place which has provided so many memories. This work includes an ADA compliant combination fishing pier kayak launch and the kayak launch will be the first of its kind in Oneida County. And we want everybody to come and enjoy the park again. On Sunday, the group will be holding a concert here at the park to take this old relic and turn it into a treasure for all to enjoy. It's going to be a hoot nanny. David Walters is the president of the Friends of Town Lion Lake Park. I've been coming to this park since I was in daycare. Uh, across the road almost 20 years ago. It really is a rarity uh, in terms of county parks because you do still have some seclusion and uh, some peace here, uh, but also just insane beauty. And Walter says since his personal connection to the park is so intertwined in who he is, it only seems fitting to hold a concert which will raise money for their efforts, including by his own group, the Old Pine Road Band. Definitely make sure you bring your chairs, bring your dancing shoes. The weather's looking perfect. It really is going to be one for the books. The music in the bowl event will take place Sunday, October 2nd from noon to 3 p.m. Reporting in Crescent, Kyle Pazorski, Newswatch 12. Under Governor Evers, hardworking Wisconsin families are being left behind. We're paying more for food, gas, everything. And Tony Evers tried to make us pay even more. A 20% gas tax increase, doubling the tax on home heating bills. And while Evers puts the squeeze on us, he wanted to give taxpayer-funded benefits to people who refuse to work. He even opposes drug-testing welfare recipients. Tony Evers is leaving hardworking Wisconsin families behind. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Rental Assistance Providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. On crime, Tony Evers broke his promise. Evers released hundreds of violent criminals from prison. Murderers, child rapists, back on our streets. Evers broke his promise. Now we're less safe than ever. Tim Michaels took an oath to protect America, and that's what he'll do as governor. Michaels will put more police on the street, fire weak prosecutors, and keep criminals behind bars. Strength and leadership. Tim Michaels for governor. 
Save big money with 11% off everything at Menards, including all Suncast storage sheds. Keep your outdoor tools, supplies, and valuables secure and protected. The 8 foot by 10 foot Tremont outdoor shed is low maintenance and has reinforced construction for added strength and stability, while the hinges and lockable handles add extra security. All Suncast storage sheds are 11% off right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The radical left hate America and riot in our streets. They indoctrinate our children to hate America, stoking fear and envy with their lies and deceptions. Their radical woke agenda and divisive politics are tearing our country apart. Here's Mandela Barnes. The, the founding of this nation, awful. Mandela Barnes is a radical leftist. He supports their woke agenda that's causing you and your family so much pain. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Bruce Orthodontics, changing lives one smile at a time. Rhinelander, Manaqua, Eagle River, Phillips, and the greater Northwoods area. Treating patients of all ages. Cooler temperatures have situated all across the state today. And right now we have temperatures in the 40s, some 50s closer to Wausau and south of that. But everybody will be in on those really cool temperatures tonight. We have some freeze warnings right now in effect until Wednesday 8 a.m. Places will get 20s for morning lows and then frost advisories on the outskirts of that. But a warm-up is on the way, exactly what we want to hear. For the next weekend, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Thank you, Conrad. That's all the time we have. We'll see you back here at 10. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio. Every year at the end of September, I dig on my Lederhosen, stock up 